best way to keep your students engaged in class? Try a board game like this one I made for practicing superlative adjectives. As you'll see, board games create a dynamic class while maximizing practice. Almost everyone enjoys board games, and they are easy to adapt to your class thanks to the availability of online generators, like the one I used to make this game for superlatives. This activity can be done in groups if your class is large. For smaller classes, try pairs. Each group gets one board and a set of cards. The cards go face down on the table. You will also need a die for each group or pair. Students take turns picking a card and answering the question in it. For example, who is your closest friend? They must use a complete sentence and include the correct form of the superlative in their answer. My closest friend is Anna. If their answer is correct, they get to roll the die and move. If not, they stay in their place and the other student or team tries to answer correctly. This means if student A got the answer wrong, student B has two chances. The one who gets to the finish box first wins. You'll also need something to use as game pieces. Today, I'm using small plastic animals, but you could use almost anything. Coins, bingo markers, or even have students make their own. Okay, now we're going to play a game to practice our superlatives. So we're going to play in pairs, and first person will roll the die. Four. One, two, three, four. Go back one space. So after you roll the die and move your, your dinosaur, you pick up the card. And so this one says, who is the meanest person in history? Nicholas, would you be able to answer that? Hitler. In a full sentence. <laughs> the meanest person in history was Hitler. Very good, Nicholas. So if you answer the question correctly with the correct form of the superlative, then you get to roll again. But if you don't answer correctly, then your teammate will have a chance to go. So can anybody tell me how we're going to play? Stephanie? Um, we ro roll the, the die and go the number of fields forward. Perfect. And then if the extent on the field has something written, like uh, one field back, mm -hmm. then you do this and then you can pick up the card and answer the question. If we answer correct, then we can roll the die again. And if it's um, wrong, the wrong form of superlative, mm -hmm. then my teammate has a chance to go. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so now let's start. So Nicholas and Jack, you'll work together, play this game. Nicole and Juhei, and Stephanie and Peter. And here are your pieces. Kobe Bryant. Who are? Okay. Uh, it's a Chinese no. guy. Yeah. Yao Ming. Okay. Yao Ming. Yao Ming. Yao Ming. I'm sorry. Four. One, two, three, four. What is the most exciting thing you have ever done? Yeah. Uh, the most exciting thing uh, what I've done is dating with a girl. One question, please. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. 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 One, the most discouraging thing to do. Is everyone finished playing the game? Yes. 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 How was it? Yeah. it was Interesting. Fun. It was fun. Nicholas, what did you learn about Jack? I learned uh, about Jack that the coldest city he ever been to is Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia. The coldest city he has been to. Okay. So, the coldest city he has been to is Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia. Very good. Thank you. Jack, what did you learn about Nicholas? Uh, the tallest basketball player uh, he has known is Yao Ming. Excellent. Peter, what about you? What did you learn about Stephanie? I learned that the worst exam she had ever taken was the math exam. Great, thank you. Nicole, what did you learn about Juhei? Uh, that the most delicious dessert she has ever eaten is cheesecake from the... Cheesecake Factory? Okay. Yeah. 
The most what dessert? The most delicious dessert. Yeah. She had ever eaten is a cheesecake. Great, thank you. What about you, Juhei? What did you learn about Nicole? Uh, the meanest politician in her country is her president. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Great class. Did you have fun playing this game? Yeah, yes. of course. Board games are great because they encourage competition and keep students engaged. Here are a few things to consider. Add variables. On my board, certain spaces were marked with instructions like miss a turn and go back to spaces. This just makes the game more interesting than going straight through the board. Make sure you design your game so that the students are forced to speak using the target language actively. Otherwise, they will be playing in silence and it becomes more about the game than actually learning anything. Always monitor while your students are playing. Not only to make sure they are playing correctly, but also to ensure that they are using the target language. And don't forget, you could also adapt popular board games such as Pictionary, Life, or Monopoly to your teaching point. Just make sure that the game stays focused on learning English and not just on having a good time.